Hello and welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Friday. Today we're going to take a quick look at annotation tags and the ability to have your units or reporting units different from what the project uh, units are set to. Uh, typically used for indicating uh, rounded up lengths of railings or walls or beams or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and flip on over to Revit and I'll show you what we're talking about here. So you can see here we are in, in, in Revit. And uh, I've simply created some railings here on screen simply uh, to, to show how this works. You can see my note here. This can be used for walls, beams, so on and so forth. This actually came from a client uh, who had a question about this. Uh, they're using the railings, as some of you might be aware of. You can use railings with a few tricks and changing the styles over for uh, egress indication on their life safety plans. In this situation, the, uh, the, they wanted the uh, indication to be rounded up. They didn't want dimensions, though. You can see I've got the dimensions grayed out just to be there for reference. You can see I've drawn three different railing lengths here. And I have created a uh, annotation tag that uh, allows us to you know, see uh, label this uh, with a dimension here. So if I come in here and pick on this, uh, it's nothing more than the default railing label. Uh, however, I have edited the label so that I'm not looking at the type mark. I'm really just indicating the length of the railing. And sure enough, you can see it does match up with our dimension of seven and three quarters of an inch with this seven and three quarters of an inch. But in the scenario that we really want, don't need to report seven and three quarter. We want to round it, uh, round it up. It's pretty easy to do actually. So we're going to go ahead and edit this uh, label. So I'll edit the family to open up the uh, family editor. And here you'll see we have the label that I uh, altered earlier. And it's sure enough, there's nothing but uh, the length. It's reporting nothing but the length. And it's currently using the units, uh, project units. Uh, select that parameter. And you'll see right down here, we have a button here with the pound symbol or a number symbol. This allows us to not use the project settings. In this example, we want to go ahead and round off to the nearest inch. And that's it. With that in place, we'll go ahead and save this. Of course you want to save this out to, to your hard drive or your server and then ultimately you'd want to put this label if it's a standard way of working you want to put this label in your project template so that when a project gets started and if you're using railings or walls or whatever else you're using to report distances and you want it to be used as a label then of course it would be there. You wouldn't have to do this every time. But I've saved it. I'm going to go ahead and load it into project. It will ask me to overwrite since I've already got it placed. So I'm going to go ahead and overwrite that. And sure enough, you'll see it rounds it off to the nearest uh, inch. So if we do this with the others right quick, you'll see I can uh, go ahead and add in this one at 7, 14 foot, 3 and a half inches. Click on that. It goes to 14, 4. And then uh, we'll do another one here right quick. You'll see the other one. 2 and a quarter. Pick on that. Rounds it down to 2 inches. And again, I've got the dimensions shown kind of grayed out just as referencing. The reality is that uh, we wouldn't want to show these dimensions at all. We just want to indicate the rounded whole number or to the nearest inch with these specific elements. So there you have it, a short, simple way of uh, working with your annotation labels. And one thing you can do with that label parameter is to control the, the, the units that will be used and therefore the rounding factor. It could even be a metric unit if you wanted to or some other type of decimal unit. So hopefully this will uh, help you out in some way if you ever need to work with the annotation or some uh, variation of working with the annotation labels. You can control those units separately from the project units. So there you have it. Four Minute Friday. Hopefully that will help you out and streamline some of your workflows a little bit. Thank you for your time. See you next time.